Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, A registration, so either 1983 or 84. Land Rover Lightweight with 200 TDI power that you can see lurking behind me there. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of uh, engine starting and idling action at the end. Hope you like them. Okay, let's have a look around this, well, rather lovely in my opinion. Um, a registration, so either 1983 or 84. So one of the last ones anyway. Um, Land Rover Lightweight, uh, as always, 88 inch. This one has been um, bought up to slightly more modern spec and that it's fitted with uh, 200 TDI power um, and power steering. And the last owner has spent a fortune on it over lockdown, um, making it a really thoroughly sorted example. And we've just taken it in part exchange. Um, finished as always, or as they should be in NATO IRR drab. They can sometimes come in sand. I think we've got a sand one at the minute, but um, those are the two main colours for them. Now, spec-wise, it's also fitted with parabolic springs, front and rear, they're new. Um, we'll go around the rest of the spec as we go, but from, this, from the front, we've got the military front bumper, twin recovery um, rings on it, and a front um, tow bar and pintle. It's obviously got Kenlo fan in there, that's controlled by thermostat. It's got its bridge plate and another plate there. It's got light guards for the um, auxiliary lights on the front. Matching set of uh, Insa Turbo 4x4 tyres. Um, are they? They're 235 85R16s. So they are quite wide, but with the power steering, they're, um, it's, it's fine to handle. So we've got spec wise um, upgraded washers on it, screen washers. Um, the front axle, certainly the half shafts, are obviously civilian ones because they've got the extended caps on. Uh, the back one, however, back ones, however, are, um, are proper lightweight ones with the, uh, the narrow axles. The rear axle um, is a completely reconditioned item fitted earlier, uh, fitted within the last 12 months, I think as is the gearbox, as is the transfer box, it's had a new clutch, basically everything. Um, the hood is relatively new, it's an undercover covers hood with uh, side windows. Again, round the back, we've got uh, light guards, we've got the Pioneer tool kit, NATO tow hook and the bumperettes. I uh, missed miss a bit behind the bumperette there when I was cleaning it. Inside the back, we've got twin bench seats and a fume curtain. And then inside, obviously we've got this um, shorter exhaust system than standard. Um, it's quiet enough. It's not uh, not horrendously noisy. Not quite sure why they did that though, but never mind. Keep to their own. Inside here, we've got Exmoor trim uh, storage pockets on both doors, which are very nice. It's got fire extinguisher. It's got the flat heater in it. It's been civilianized a bit in that it's got deluxe front seats with uh, inertia reel seat belts and a, uh, a centre cubby box out of a Defender with, you might be wondering what that is, that's a, uh, a courtesy light. It's also, um, previous owners made an attempt at soundproofing it and been largely successful actually. It's got soundproofing on the floor and the tunnel and the seat boxes and um, under the bonnet and what have you. Anyway, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Now this one, panel work wise, it's very, very straight. Uh, which is nice to see on a lightweight because the panels are uh, a little bit on the tricky side to get these days. But they're all good. Uh, it's also, I think, had a new rear cross member on it recently, but we'll come to that. Uh, around the front, I mean, it's showing one or two signs of, it's never had a complete restoration, if you like. Uh, so it's not, it's not mint and it has been, uh, I know the previous owner used it to go shooting uh, earlier this week. So um, there's still some, some mud here and there. But uh, around the front end, it's all pretty smart. Front bumper's lost a bit of its paint. And, you know, because it's NATO IRR drab and it's uh, either rolled or brushed, um, it's the, the proper military finish. So don't expect perfection. I'm not gonna go around and highlight every single blemish. There will be bits of paint that have chipped off and stuff, but you can just get a brush and, uh, and brush it back in again on these. Looks pretty straight down the near side. Modesty cover on the near side, possibly slightly twisted outwards. Let's have a look underneath the front of the chassis. 
See the turbocharger hiding down there? Looks pretty good under there. A post. The um, rather vulnerable split bulkhead top on this one looks to be pretty good. Going along there. Hood's all nice. see of it along there because obviously on these later ones the miper motor gets in the way at this end again from the other side looks pretty good there and along very little evidence of delamination or anything the seats are in pretty good shape there's a slight nick in the passenger seat just there Let's have a look under here. Back some straps by looking at it. Proper lightweight military cross member on it. It's also got the proper split tailgate. So I seem to have missed a bit <laughs> down there. Apologies. In the back it's serviceable. You know, it's got the twin benches. Spare wheel really should be on the bonnet, but it does make it a bit hard to lift. And again, down the offside, really pretty straight. Bit of paint loss on the offside here, but really no big deal on one of these. Very functional vehicle. So a matching set of five into turbo um, traction tracks. Good tyres those. Some paint loss on the modesty covers down there and around the front end. And obviously along here. And up here on the bulkhead. Some USB ports in it as well, charging your phone and stuff. So, the previous owner has attempted to civilianize it and uh, gone about as far as, <laughs> as you can with one of these. They are rough and ready vehicles. So, it's got soundproofing on the seat boxes and stuff. But there you have it. It's, I mean, it's great to drive, it really is. It's one of the most impressive lightweights I've seen for some while, actually. So, there we have it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com for any more info. Right, quick video. Start up and running on this uh, A registration Land Rover Lightweight. All light ignition light come up as they should. Check it's in neutral. Starts exactly as it should, whether hot or cold. And then there we have a 200 TDI conversion from a 1989 Discovery. Just doing what it should.
Kıpraşır, aşırı. Bakın. 